Hey everybody, CJ here with Muxboard, and in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to answer the question, how do you connect Quick Connect eMatches in series? If you're watching this video right now, I'm going to assume that you probably already know what Quick Connect eMatches are and you've probably seen Quick Connect slats or you may even be using them right now. If you're not familiar with Quick Connect eMatches, uh, check out the link in the description below and go watch my other video first. Today we're going to tackle the problem of how do you connect Quick Connect eMatches in series if you want more than one eMatch on a single queue. Today I'm going to show you how you can manually wire your Quick Connect eMatches in series. I'm also going to show you how to use these quick split boards from Muxboard. But first, let's talk about series wiring a little bit, and I'll show you how to wire them in series the traditional way. Traditionally in the fireworks industry, the preferred way of connecting more than one e-match to a single queue is series wiring. So let's talk about wiring traditional e-matches in series. While I get these e-matches ready to wire in series, let's talk a little bit about series wiring. When you wire e-matches in series, there's only one path for current, and the same current travels through all of the e-matches that are wired in series. This allows the user to effectively test the e-matches using their firing system, where if you wire in parallel, there are multiple paths for current, and that means when you test your circuit, only one of the e-matches has to be connected correctly, and it's not very effective. As I begin to connect these e-matches in series, you'll notice that I take one lead from each e-match and twist it together with the lead from the next e-match in the series. We'll take a closer look at this in a minute. What the end result is going to be is that all of our e-matches are connected, but I'm going to have open leads at either end of the series, and those are the leads that get connected to the firing system. So now that I've got everything connected in series, let me see if I can lay this out a little bit better so we can see what's going on. Let's take a little closer look at the four e-matches that we just wired in series. Remember that the open leads on the left and the right are the leads that get connected to your firing system. And if you follow the path, there's only one path for current through a series circuit. Before I go any further, I should probably mention that if you're doing this in the field, you might want to put some tape over these connections or twist them up in a way that they won't short out to each other. So if you're using old school e-matches with bare wires, you can stop here. This is how you wire in series. If you're using quick connect e-matches, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The bad news is wiring quick connect e-matches in series involves a lot of cutting, stripping, and twisting wires like you would with traditional e-matches. The good news is wiring quick connect e-matches in series can be quick and easy with the quick split from Muxboard. But before I show you the quick split, let me show you how to wire Quick Connect eMatches in series manually. Using Quick Connect eMatches makes the process easier and quicker for sure. But if you need to connect multiple eMatches in series, you're going to end up cutting and stripping a lot of wires, kind of like I showed you a few minutes ago. If we want to connect these four Quick Connect eMatches in series, we really only need one connector. So we're going to sacrifice three of these connectors, and I'll show you how to wire them together. This part's probably going to look familiar. We're going to split the wires, strip the ends, and get ready to twist them together in the series configuration like I showed you before.
If I were in the field, this is when I'd put tape on these connections. Watch this next part closely. You're going to use your knife or your snips to split the e-match lead. And only cut one of the wires. Strip the ends. and complete the circuit with the three E matches we've already wired in series. So as you can see, wiring quick connect E matches in series is neither quick nor easy. In fact, it took longer than series wiring four traditional E matches. It's a little harder to tell, but you can still see that there's a single current path through all four E-matches and the Quick Connect connector. So now that we have that behind us, let me show you how to save time with the Quick Split 4. So if you want to keep the Quick and Quick Connect, you're going to want to check out the Quick Split 4. The next time you have a show where you're using Quick Connect E-Matches, you're going to want to save some of your spent E-Matches so you can make pigtails. For demonstration purposes, I've only made this one a few inches long, but you can make them as long as your E-Match allows. The pigtail is what you're going to use to connect the Quick Split to your firing system. And this is what I'm going to use to demonstrate four Quick Connect E-Matches. But first, let's talk a little bit about the Quick Split. This gray connector is where you're going to connect your pigtail and it provides the connection to your firing system. Your four series wired E-matches will connect here and this is onboard storage for the jumpers you'll need when you use less than four E-matches. We'll talk more about this later. Let's go ahead and connect our pigtail. I'm going to warn you, the spring tension on this gray connector is very strong. So if you're having trouble getting it open, just press a little harder. Once you get your pigtail connected, you're going to notice that it makes a very strong connection. You can make your pigtail as long as you want or as short as you want, like I have here for demonstration purposes. And when you're not using it, you can wrap it around for storage. Wiring Quick Connect E-matches in series doesn't have to be as painful as I've shown you before. In fact, in the time it takes me to tell you this, I've already wired four in series using the Quick Split 4. And just like that, you've got four Quick Connect E matches wired in series in about 10 seconds. I know what you're thinking. What if you don't need four E matches in series? What if you only need two? When using less than four E-matches, you're going to need these jumpers. Install the jumpers in any port where you have an unused E-match. As you'll remember, in a series circuit, there's only one path for current. So when you have an unused E-match, you need to replace it with a jumper. So I've shown you four E-matches and I've shown you two E-matches. What if you want three? Remove one of the jumpers and place it in the onboard storage. Then connect your E-match in the third location. What if you need more than four Quick Connect E-matches in series? That's where you use the Quick Split 12. It gives you up to 12 Quick Connect E-matches in series, enough room to store your pigtail, and all the jumpers you'll need. For more information, check out the link in the description below. And if you're a Cobra user and your module has RJ45 outputs, check out the Quick Split 3x6. 
It allows you up to three Quick Connect e-matches in series for each of six queues. Want to learn more? Check out the link in the description below. I hope you found this video useful, and if you want to learn more about the Quick Split from Muxboard, head over to muxboard.com. If you think the Quick Split will save you time, hit that thumbs up button below. Share this video with all of your fireworks and pyro friends. If you haven't already, head over to facebook.com slash muxboard and give us a like. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest in firing systems, e-match technology, and muxboard products, hit the subscribe button below.